We're discussing the features of the TP9A petroleum gauging thermometer. This is an intrinsically safe thermometer for use in hazardous locations or explosive environments. It uses an accurate platinum RTD technology for temperature sensing. It has an LCD display with hundreds resolution in either Celsius or Fahrenheit. It has a, a three button rugged button interface to help navigate the software. It uses standard AA batteries and it also has LCD icons to show increasing or decreasing temperature as well as low battery condition. The TP9A is made primarily from stainless steel and plastic materials. The rugged stainless steel has proven to be useful in many chemical environments for how well it holds up as well as how easy it is to clean. The TP9A has a cable wrap design on the back that allows the user to easily wrap the cable as well as possibly clean the cable while it's being wrapped. TP9A has a plastic handle that allows the storage of the probe inside the handle. It also comes available with an insert that can be used to allow for different size probes to be stored. It also includes a friction stop to keep the, the probe in the handle. Also included is a bonding cable that will remove any static electricity from the device in the hazardous location. The probe assemblies included with the TP9A come available with multiple style weights. This is an asphalt weight. There's also a smaller standard weight, an extra weight, and a rail car weight. The cable is a non-stick surface, which is easy to clean. The cable comes in lengths up to 50 meters. This is a 75 foot example. Brass markings can be applied to the cable every five feet or in every meter. The software features of the TP9A are easily accessed through the three button interface. The center select button is also the power button. Press it to turn the instrument on. It shows its software version. Whether or not it has a two or three wire connection and then it goes right to reading temperature. The features are accessed using the up and down buttons to scroll through the simple menu. If you keep going, it'll come back to temperature reading. The first selection when you go down is log. If I want to log my current temperature, I go to log and then I hit the select button. I've logged my first reading. I can go back to it and log my second reading. You can do that up to four readings. That's a third reading. The second selection in the list is to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. If I select this, I've now switched to Celsius. Or if I go back to it, I select back to Fahrenheit. Similarly, I go down to the list. The decimal selection will switch between one decimal place, which is tense resolution, or hundreds resolution. The third selection, I'm sorry, the fourth selection is memory. This allows to display the lowest reading while the instrument's been powered on. I can use the up and down arrows to browse through this list. So I've got lowest, the average, while the instrument's been powered on, or the highest reading, and then I can look at my log reading. So this is my log one reading, log two, log three, and I can erase whatever log readings are in the device, which I'll do now. I'll return back to temperature. Finally, if we go through, we've got our selections. Our last one is calibrate. This allows us to enter calibration mode. And then we come back to temperature.